what you know about me. I kind of got the same shake as you, bro. Like the same. I got in through the back door. You already know, bro. Like I was going for a hospital call center job. And the next thing you know, I'm at a place called Intent and I'm selling digital ad spaces. Right. And how yeah. I ended up getting lit in there was everybody was going after the big deals like the $5,000, $10,000 deal at the time. And so for anybody listening, basically, if you were a children's birthday planner, we'd put you on Nick Jr. If you was a home theater person, we'd put you on HGTV.com. So anything that was related to your business, we would put you next to relevant content on top tier websites. So that's what I was calling people, cold calling and, and doing it. But it was hard to get after the Coca-Colas and all that other stuff. So what I did, bro, I went after every home theater installation person in the U.S., so that's when Yelp was first started and they just started putting their listings up. Most home theater guys, guess what? Are entrepreneurs, solopreneurs. You don't have to get through Sally. I don't have to go through all of those people. Yeah. And if I get the problem and I spoke to enough of them where all their problems yeah. were the same. They were looking yeah. to get meetings. They were looking to get more leads. They were looking to, to drive down their marketing costs. They just want to go and do the job. They don't have time to think about all this other shit. So I was yeah. like, all right. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, John, so what if I do this? I called every single one, bro. Instead of me getting the $5,000 deal, I would get 10, 500 deals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And then and I ended up going from there, bro, then just going and going. But it, a lot yeah. of shit that I learned in sales, and I'm glad we went through that, bro, but like the numbers game, all of that stuff is bullshit. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I think all, and, and I'm saying that respectfully to all the salespeople, like, you know, like a lot of the training courses, the sale, like those are good things, B. But I think psychology is the best thing that you should be thinking about when it comes to sales. And if you're doing sales right and you're really passionate about what you're doing, all it is is speaking to the problem and the bigger problem and you attaching yourself to whatever problem you think is the priority for that organization. And then you're yeah. telling a story. You're going high when you're talking about this. You're going low when you're talking pricing. You're doing those things. And it's really your show. It's, it's this, bro. It's a podcast. It's a show. Yeah. That's all it is at a show. But if you're being honest with people, bro, and you know your industry well, and if you come with a different angle, that's all that sales is, man. But, like, I feel like we overcomplicate the shit, mm -hmm. especially, yeah. in tech. especially in tech. It shouldn't be five five meetings for you to get a price. It shouldn't be, you know, you got to go in there, or you got to go request a demo, then you speak to, to, to Jared, the SDR, then you get lead a sales yeah. guy, and then, oh, we're about to close, so he brought in his boss, the big guns. And then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's so stupid, bro. Like, it, it's yeah. ridiculous, man.